Hi friends of Cocktails! One year ago I made the Hemingway Decorie, in honor of Hemingway's birthday. This year I wanted to make his other favorite drink, the Mojito. You know that sign? My Mojito in La Bodeguita, my Decorie in El Fordita. Well, turns out that's probably fake, but a really great marketing move. So I decided to make the cocktail time version of the Mojito. I used Havana Club 3-year Cuban rum, clarified lime and mint cordial with a bit of cardamom for some spice, topped it up with soda and garnished with absinthe sprayed mint. Ernest loved absinthe. Hemingway even created the Dead in the Afternoon cocktail, which was published in a cocktail book with contributions from 30 famous authors. He mixed champagne and absinthe with instructions to drink 3 to 5 of these, slowly. For our mojito, the spray of absinthe is enough. And the herbal notes of the garnish is what you get on the nose, which means gently stepping forward on the aroma and the initial flavor. Lime juice and zest give it the freshness you'd expect in a mojito. The rum stays on the aftertaste, but it's also there to make sure we're staying loyal to the cocktail's origins, Cuba. Who knows, this might actually be how Ernest would prefer the mojito. Let's make it. It's cocktail time. Before you go and grab that rum, let's see how to make this clarified mint and lime cordial. There's a lot of ingredients here, but you've probably got most of them. And I'll tell you about the alternatives, if you can get your hands on some. I'll start by blanching the mint, so our cordial doesn't turn brown. Grab a nice bouquet of mint, depending on how strong you want the mint flavor to be in the cordial. 15 seconds in boiling hot water, then immediately into an ice bath for one minute. This will prevent the oxidation of certain enzymes in the mint and in turn keep our cordial from browning. Same procedure applies if making mint syrup and is described in detail in the bar book by Jeffrey Morgenthaler. Next, I'll add lime, zest and juice. 3 grams of lime zest will add extra freshness, but you'll want to remove the white pit, since that can add some bitterness. Add to a blender and juice enough limes to get 100 ml of lime juice. One lime usually yields 30 ml or 1 ounce, so I was lucky to get enough from 3 limes. To that, add 150 ml or 5 ounces of filtered water. To add some extra flavor, I'll add the seeds from a single cardamom pot. Since the blender wouldn't break them apart enough, I'll grind them first with a mortar and pestle. To balance the lime in our cordial, I'll add 100 grams of white sugar. Last ingredients are the acids, 4 grams of citric and 2 grams of malic acids for a more intense sour flavor. If you don't have them, you can add an additional 100 ml of lime juice instead of water, but you'll need to use up the cordial faster. Blend everything to get it nice and incorporated before we start the clarification process. We've used agar agar twice before, so you might be familiar with the following steps. To heat up agar, I'll use only a part of the cordial and add 0.7 gram of this vegan gelling agent. I'll slowly bring the mixture up to heat, whisking constantly to fully incorporate agar into the cordial. Then I'll slowly add the rest of the cordial, gradually chilling the agar, which is important. Next step is to fully chill the mixture. Agar will form a gel and trap all the particles of the cordial, which we'll be able to filter out with a cheesecloth. If you don't have agar, you can go straight from blending to filtering, but the result won't be as clear as what we're making here. Making a clarified cordial instead of clarifying the entire cocktail means we keep the body and flavor of the rum intact. Usually when filtering like this, the initial liquid comes through a bit cloudy and needs to be refiltered, but this was clear from the start. You'll appreciate that when tasting 
this special mojito. Last step is to bottle it and use it in your favorite summer cocktail. There's plenty of uses for cordial like this, so try playing with different spirits and mixers. This cordial is a perfect way to make building a mojito fast and simple, without compromising flavor or freshness. Plus, who doesn't love a clarified cocktail? Let's make the cocktail time mojito. Just like you would a classic mojito, we'll build this in the glass as well, just faster. After adding your best ice, it's time to add the rum. Classic or cocktail time, you can't go wrong with a Havana Club 3 year in a mojito. 45 ml or 1.5 an ounce. Then, in one quick step, we add the lime and mint, key flavors for this cocktail. 30 ml or 1 ounce of our clarified cordial. No muddling in this cocktail, just chilling and diluting a bit. Final ingredient is the soda. Top up the cocktail before adding the garnish. This will add the extra aroma that's key for a mojito. And as always, don't forget to spank the mint. Finally, to make our cocktail extra special, a spray of absinthe. Trust me, try it and you'll see how much this adds. If you're hosting a party or working at an event this summer, this is a great way to prepare for making a lot of mojitos. I think Ernest would love to try this, and I hope you'll try it as well. Or check out the Hemingway Decorator episode. But keep in mind, we shot that one year ago. As for the future, the next time you'll see me? Well, we'll see. Cheers.